name is Nikolina Kovalenko. I'm a visual artist based in Brooklyn. My work is about the humanity's uh, psychological connection with nature and uh, climate change. For my paintings of fragile ecosystems, they strive to expose the consequences of our everyday actions have on the environment. I create artwork inspired by locations specific to each project. My previous series include glacier melting in Iceland and deforestation and illegal logging in the Brazilian Amazon. Currently, I'm working on a series of coral reef paintings showing the beauty and diversity we are losing through coral bleaching and climate change. Coral reefs provide biodiversity, coastal protection from erosion and storms, sand. Every grain of sand used to be a living animal or plant, and economic benefits. They also present spiritual value for many coastal cultures. 50% of the world's coral reefs have already been destroyed, and another 40% are expected to disappear in the next 20 years due to warming oceans, pollution, overfishing, and habitat destruction. By 2100, coral reefs might cease to exist. That means that your grandchildren will know no more about corals than we do about dinosaurs. Coral reefs will become history and slowly sink into oblivion. This is why I called this series of paintings Utopian Reefscapes. I imagine a diver of the future seeing nothing but dead monochromatic ocean bottom, deprived of color, texture and movement. I feel it's my duty to convey the mesmerizing underwater world while it lasts. Instead of meticulously documenting particular images I took while diving, I paint the ocean of abundance, where corals of all shapes and colors thrive creating a world where one can't tell reality from fiction, photographic reference from a symbol. These paintings are showing Garden of Eden if it was underwater. I got my paddy license only last year, and before the quarantine started, I went to the Red Sea in Egypt to explore the wonders of underwater world and collect material for my paintings. Since I was only a beginner diver, Learning underwater photography was very challenging. There are so many logistics I had to think at once, for example, mastering buoyancy and curbing the excitement, trying to breathe calmer so the air lasts longer. The first time the photos came out nuclear green because I didn't set the white balance properly. The second batch was good colors but blurry because there was a strong current and I felt like shooting from a moving car. But with every dive, the photos are improving. An interesting thing is that with depth, colors fade away in the rainbow order. Reds disappear first, followed by orange, yellow, etc. And the last color left is an almost fluorescent blue. If you dive below 10 meters, then you see the reality around you in different shades of blue. And you don't know what color the objects are until you look at the photos back at the surface. You have to set the white balance to obtain the correct colors. I love that second, when the veil of the sea lifts and reveals the mysterious and magical universe. One thing was clear to me from the beginning. The underwater world is incredibly fascinating, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It felt like exploring a new planet with alien life, colors, textures and shapes. From that moment, I knew this was all I ever wanted to paint. When I returned, within two weeks the quarantine had started. I feel very fortunate to have a studio that's only a 20-minute walk away from my house, and I was there almost every day religiously since mid-March. It became my escape, my shelter from the disturbing new reality. I would put on meditation music and feel like I'm diving again. These paintings are large, 54 by 80 inches, and extremely elaborate so it takes me months to complete one. I even refer to them as growing corals, not painting them. I start with stretching and gessoing a canvas, and then sandpaper the surface until it's smooth like marble. 
I then paint a more abstract background, letting the paint flow, trying to convey the movement of the water. At that point, I already have a vision for the architecture of the composition, and the reef begins to grow. I never quite know how the painting will turn out, but then that's the beauty of creation. I enjoy finding a gesture for the texture of each coral, understanding their structure and admiring the fantasy and diversity of Mother Nature. Approximately 5% of our ocean has been discovered, leaving 95% unexplored. How can we care so little about the underwater world when it covers 70% of our planet? We are just guests on this earth. Very demanding guests with horrible manners, who keep talking about themselves while never stopping to listen or ask questions. I'm hopeful. My utopian reefscapes will inspire in viewers a curiosity, awe, joy, and sense of shared responsibility for our beautiful, fragile planet Earth. Thank you so much for taking time and interest to visit my studio. Please follow my projects on my website nikaart.org or on Instagram at Nikolina Kovalenko. Thank you.